On the flip side then, what if, despite your best intentions, somebody accuses you of infringing their intellectual property and you get one of the letters that I've just mentioned the claimant should send? Well, in the first instance, naturally, you want to consider if there's any merit to that allegation. And that will influence how you respond, of course. But on the basis that perhaps there is some merit, try and meet the claimant halfway. If you need to use their intellectual property, suggest a license agreement whereby you pay them a fee for the use of their trademark, for example. Or perhaps you can agree to coexist with certain parameters. You won't use a particular service or you won't advertise your services for a particular industry and, and they're okay with that. You might always want to consider if it was a, an infringement by your organisation, having some staff training implemented so that your colleagues and your employees are aware that what they should and shouldn't be doing in terms of using other people's intellectual property. It, let's say though either that the claimant's refusing to engage with you or that you're determined that you want to defend the allegation because you believe it has no merit it's going to end up in court, the claimant will issue proceedings and you then need to instruct solicitors to help you defend that and to make sure that your case is being properly put across. Um, and if you're successful and your defence is accepted and their claim fails, you should be entitled to recover at least some of your costs from the other side.